Well, back here in the Carolinas, it's been a pretty calm day today, and that's going to be sticking with us overnight. A live look over Independence Boulevard in East Charlotte. Temperatures are cooling down tonight, but we are warming up throughout the coming week. And it's, as we were mentioning, it's going to be awfully warm out there. Temperatures yeah, in the high 80s, <laughs> maybe even a 90. Maybe. I mean, it could be in the cards, Derek. It's going to be getting toasty out there. Maybe some time. If you can, the lounge by the pool, potentially after work. Of course, you need to have that luxury. Otherwise, you're going to be sweating. <laughs> sweating. Hydration is yes. going to be one of those important points here as we go down the road into the new week, Derek. We're going to see those temperatures start to cre creep up tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of a speed bump with our temperatures on Tuesday. But overall, we are looking warmer as we head into the next week. Right now, Again, outside on our South Park camera right now, looking good, 68 degrees. South Southwesterly winds at 7 miles an hour. Temperatures currently across the Carolinas, mid to upper 60, 60 degrees in Boone, one of the cooler spots, and we'll continue to cool off into the upper, mid and upper 50s as we head through the overnight hours. Temperature outlook as we go through next week, we got the warm temperatures across the eastern two-thirds of the country, big ridge. That's going to be building on it. We've been talking about this for the past few days. It's reflected really in our temperatures here. Low to mid 80s Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That's where I'm pinpointing that potential run at the 90 degree mark. We need some factors to come together. A lot of sunshine during those afternoon hours really pump us up towards the 90 degree mark, but it is certainly possible. Right now, though, pinpoint satellite radar, it's quiet across the Carolinas and also slowly cooling off. As well, we zoom out, we go wide, still watching all of those strong storms that roll into the heartland of the country. Several a severe thunderstorm and still a few tornado warnings as well across portions of Missouri, Arkansas, down through northwest Louisiana, and also southeast Texas as well as this powerful cold front continues to roll eastward. But the good news is by the time it gets into the Carolinas, really going to be losing just about all of its punch and let's talk about that overnight tonight heading into your Monday morning. We're looking good. We get to the afternoon hours. It's going to be a quiet day across the Carolinas. A lot of sunshine temperatures. Also the humidity starting to creep up a little bit as well. The, the muggy factor will begin to return across the Carolinas. It's not overpowering, but it's just something to be aware of if you're going to be out and about here overnight heading into your Tuesday morning. We see more clouds begin to roll in that frontal boundary that brought all the severe weather to portions of Oklahoma. Kansas, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. This tries to roll into the Carolinas, but it's not going to have nearly the punch that they're dealing with right now. Fortunately for us here across the central Carolinas, but by 745 on your Tuesday evening, we do see those scattered showers, potentially a rumble of thunder moving through. But at this time, not really concerned about the potential for severe weather. So certainly good news there. And by the time we get to the early morning hours on Wednesday, starting to dry out. And then we're going to be turning that atmospheric thermostat up across the central Carolinas. As for the next 12 hours, though, one of those nights where you can open up the windows, let that cool air and breeze roll into your home and also save a few pennies on your electric bill as well. Temperatures into the mid to upper 50s, 58 in Charlotte, 55 in Shiraz, low 50s across the mountains. One of those nights where it's very consistent, really, no matter where you are across the central Carolinas. Now out the door tomorrow, we start off cool, com comfortable, wonderful. Getting a little bit on the warmer side. I won't go full hot just yet, but definitely going to start to feel a little toasty, especially if you get in your car if it's going to be sitting out the sun. Be aware of that. High temperatures tomorrow, low to mid 80s across the Sand Hills, 82 in Charlotte as we head up into the foothills, lower 80s and finishing up in the mountains, low to mid 70s. And speaking of mountains, your five day forecast, you can see those a uh, few scattered showers and storms during the afternoon hours, but for the most part, staying in the mid to upper 70s throughout the week for you. Back here in Charlotte, your pinpoint seven day forecast knocking on the door of 90 degrees Wednesday and Thursday.